About 2001, I became fire chief and been very busy. I enjoy it, but uh, on the other hand, it is kind of a scary position. When we get that call and these trucks leave, everybody comes home safe. That's our goal. Both of our kids look up to him, but it makes me really proud. Last few years, I was having back problems, so I switched chiropractors. Thought, well, I'll try a different guy and see how that works. The last visit I had with him when I left, when he cracked my back, something didn't feel right. And that went around for about a week, you know, still sore, something wasn't quite right, and I coughed really hard. And when I did that, it felt like a rib had popped. So we went to ER and confirmed, yep, you got two fractures. They thought that was kind of strange. So they sent me back to the hospital. We did some blood work. But it was like a Friday afternoon, like 4.30. I get a phone call from the doctor's office and uh, basically says, you got cancer. I immediately started bawling. I was like, what? What do you mean? What do you say? What do you do? It was a very scary weekend. A lot of crying but then trying to stay strong for the kids too. After our first appointment with Dr. Peterson though, it was a sense of relief. Yeah. Until she had an absolute answer, she was right on top of it. It was kind of like, okay, we could do this. Mm -hmm. I'm done doing the actual chemo treatment. Now I'm just on a maintenance program. I can't lift more than 10 pounds because of the back condition. So basically they said, well, why don't you go try to sign up for disability, you know, until this gets healed up. You don't realize how much cost is involved. You still have to pay your electricity. You still have to pay, you know, for food and gas. I don't know how people do it. We needed to let the family know, so we did tell our kids right away. Started the Cooper Strong page. Yeah. And a firefighter from over by Big Rapids heard our story and had a $500 Meyer gift card. So he actually sent that to me. And then the fire department here, uh, we do a pancake breakfast every spring. The guys surprised me and uh, all the money that was raised that day, they gave to us. I didn't want them to do it because there's things that we have to do around here, but uh, I was outvoted. <laughs> that stuff's gone a long ways. We're not used to receiving, you know, used to giving. I mean, this is a, you know, fire trucks, we go out and help, that's what we do. And, all of a sudden now it's coming our way. If you have someone looking out for you and you know that the funds are there, I, I think that that's part of treatment. Cancer affects people every day. This fund is gonna help our friends, our neighbors, especially if someone didn't have the money for groceries, if they can't get to their doctor's appointment because they don't have the gas. I mean, that could be life-changing. If I was a person to donate, you know, and be looking at funds, I think you're really helping out the people that really need it.